<laughs> he hit him with a pure wet. Welcome to Let's Watch TV. Thank you for clicking on the video. All right, so we up to episode eight. And listen, the end of last episode was probably, not probably, definitely the most gratifying moment of the entire series so far. I mean, Cersei clearly did not think that one through. And if I, listen, I was saying it the whole time. Like, hold up. Isn't this plan going to backfire her? Isn't her son a sin? Isn't what she's done her whole life a sin? Clearly, she wasn't thinking. Let's see what happens in this one. Your Grace, I want to you say... You will not speak. Yeah. How do I know you are who you say you are? If only I were otherwise. If you are Tyrion Lannister, why shouldn't I kill you? To pay your family back for what it did I to feel tonight. like everybody should know what Tyrion looks like. Lannisters? No offense. I killed my mother, Joanna Lannister, on the day I was born. I killed my father, Tywin Lannister, with a bolt to the heart. I am the greatest Lannister killer of our time. So I should welcome you into my service because you murdered members of your own family. Your Grace, we have only just met. It's too soon to know if you deserve my service. If you'd rather return to the fighting pits, just say the word. Believe When I was a young man, I heard a story about a baby born during the worst storm in living memory. She had no wealth, no lands, no army, only a name. She was eventually sold off to some warlord on the edge of the world, and that appeared to be that. And then, a few years later, the most well-informed person I knew told me that this girl, without wealth, lands, or armies, had somehow acquired all three in a very short span of time, along with three dragons. He thought she was our best, last chance to build a better world. Yes. Why should I spend my time listening to you? Because you cannot build a better world on your own. You have no one at your side who understands the land you want to rule. The strengths and weaknesses of the houses that will either join or oppose you. I will have a very large army. And very large dragons. Killing and politics aren't always the same thing. I could do an even better job. Advising a ruler worth the name. If that is indeed what you are. So you want to advise me? What would you have me do with him? I swore I would kill him if he ever returned. Whomever Sajora was when he started informing on you, he is no longer that man. Yep, that's what I said. I don't remember ever seeing a sane man as devoted to anything as he is to serving you. He claims he would kill for you and die for you, and, and yet he did betray you. Did he have an opportunity to confess his betrayal? Yes. Many opportunities. I mean... He worships you. He is in love with you, I think. But he did not trust you with the truth. So I should kill him. A ruler who kills those devoted to her is not a ruler who inspires devotion. You mm. don't need to inspire devotion. A lot of it. If you're ever going to rule across the narrow sea. But you cannot have him by your side when you do. Remove Sajora from the city. I feel like Sir Jor has never fully explained himself. I mean, I get it. You were betrayed, but damn. I was going to get you killed, but you changed my mind. Truly. I mean, you know. Oh, well, yeah. Well, you know what? Actually, don't even really matter. It's messed up. Uh. You want to borrow time, man. You better make it count. Huh? You know what? Confess. I shouldn't laugh or enjoy this. But I do. Let me speak to them. Oh, shit. Confess. I meant it. My faith will be the last thing you see. 
Yeah. You still saying that? Mm. My name is Lana. Yeah. Yeah. I'm an orphan. <laughs> when I was eight, I bet enough money to oh, buy Oh, man. Pieces. Just I pure enjoyment. I made enough money to buy two more. Now every morning, I make my way down to the canals. I usually see Lara, my first customer of the day, on her way home. Oh, no, it's very impressive. Very industrious. She will make a fine servant for the many-faced god. How will she serve him? She will no longer turn left onto Ragman Lane. She will turn right and go to Ragman Harbor. What will she do there? She will see. See what? How can a man tell a girl this? If he knew what she would see, there would be no reason to send her. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Finally, his riddle speaking ass. I did not expect that to be his voice. Very nice. Give me four with vinegar. Yeah. It's my 18th voyage. Returned from all of them without a scratch on me. Can't do it. Please. I've three children. Without me. Here, take it. You have to. I have three children. What will they do? Come on. There's nothing without me. Please, you have to. Please, you don't understand. The man is a gambler. Uh oh. He wages that a sailor's ship will make it to its destination. It is a strange wager for the captain. He only wins if he loses his life. If the captain dies, the thin man pays his family a lot of money. But perhaps the gambler loses his bet and decides he does not have to pay after all. A destitute woman and her small child. What can they do to such a man if he keeps their money for himself? Yeah. A girl named Lana will return to the docks. She will watch the gambler. She will come to know as much about him as she knows about herself. And then what? A gift. For the thin man. Some of that deadly ass water. Anyway. Yeah. Arya's starting to have fun. She's not ready. Perhaps she is. Perhaps she's not. Hang on. And if she's not? It is all the same to the many-faced God. Damn, that sounded kind of cold. Is this one right here going to be a hater? Or is she like genuinely concerned? The trial will take place, so... The High Sparrow will be presenting a substantial case against you. The charges? Fornication, treason, incest. The murder of King Robert. All lies. Damn. Of course you pray. Got her for everything. Did. Is there any word from Jamie? No, I'm afraid not. Oh, now you want Jamie? Your Grace, Grand Maester Pycelle has summoned your uncle Kevan back from Casterly Rock to serve as hand of the king. He now presides over the small council. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tell him I need to speak. I implored him to visit you, but he would not. <laughs> what about my son, the king? If you can visit me, then surely the king... Your arrest and Queen Marjorie's arrest, the king has not taken them well. He remains in his chambers. His servants often find his food in the hall, left untouched. You need to talk to him. Uh. You need to talk to my son and tell him to come and see me. Come and see his mother. He... I tried, Your Grace. He wouldn't see me. He won't see anyone. I can't stay here. There, 
is a way. To the High Sparrow, I won't. I made him. I rose him up from nothing. I will not kneel before some barefooted common and beg his forgiveness. I mean, if she confess, what's the punishment, though? I feel like it's death. Goodbye, my queen. The work continues. I forgot about the mountain. As much as I hate Cersei, I don't like the High Sparrow either. So. Uh, I forgot what Theon did last episode. Why? Why, Theon? Not Theon. There is no Theon. Reek. Reek. Yeah, you Why know what? I'm gonna start calling you Reek too, because you are Reek. I was helping you. You wanted to escape. There is no escape. Maybe not yeah, for you. Joy tried to escape. The master knew. He knows everything. He hunted him and caught him and strapped him to a cross. He cut away piece after piece. So there was no Theon left. Good. Dead. If I could do what Ramsay did to you right here, right now, I would. Damn, Sansa. I deserved everything. I did terrible things. Turned on Rob. Captured Winterfell. Killed those boys. They weren't those boys. They were Bran and Rickon. They were your brothers. You've known them since they were born. They weren't. They were lonely. Man, tell her the what? truth. I can't. Tell me. I can't. Not unless the master says. Tell me. They weren't what? They weren't. Tell me why Bran and Rickon should be gone while you still breathe the air. Tell me to my face, Theon. Tell me that they weren't your brothers. They weren't Bran and Rickon. I couldn't find them. These two farm boys. Killed them and burned them so no one would know. Do you know where they went, Bran and Rickon? I can't talk to you anymore. Theon, you have to tell me. Do you have any idea where they went? Not Theon! Reek! Damn, I'm glad Ramsey wasn't standing on the other side of that damn door. Our scouts tell us he's got no more than 6,000 men. We are more prepared for a siege than they could ever be. All we have to do is wait for them to freeze, starve, and mutiny. Ed. You disagree. Stannis isn't from the north. You are, father. I think you're missing an opportunity to show the people of the north how House Bolton treats southern invaders. And what do you recommend? That we not sit and wait for Stannis to decide what sort of fight this is going to be. That we hit first and hit hard and leave a feast for the crow. As long as we stay behind these walls, they can't touch us. Not to mention that the snow is so deep we couldn't get an army through to engage them even if we wanted to. I don't need an army. I need 20 good men. Man! Is Ramsey that damn nice? I don't know, so man. I don't know. Whether I'm worthy of your service. My father, who publicly sentenced me to death, I'd say his thoughts on having me killed were abundantly clear. Is that why you killed him? Someday, if you decide not to execute me, I'll tell you all about why I killed my father. And on that day, should it ever come, you'll need more wine than this. <laughs> you always need more wine than that. I know what my father was. It's not impossible that Varys was right about you after all. Varys? King Robert's spy master? Yes, he's the one who convinced me to come find you. He was my traveling companion before Sir Joros seized that role for himself. Joros sent my secrets to Varys. For 20 years, the spider oversaw the campaign to find and kill me. He did what he had to do to survive. He did a lot of other things as well, things he didn't have to do. 
I suspect he's the main reason you weren't slaughtered in your crib. But you trust him? Yes, oddly. Yeah. Maybe the only person in the world I trust. Except my brother. The brother Ooh. who killed my father. That's the one. I'd given up on life. Until Varys convinced me you might be worth living for. Yeah. I'm not going to kill you. So if I'm not going to be murdered and I'm not going to be banished... You're going to advise me. While you can still speak in complete sentences. Hey. Perhaps this is where you belong, where you can do the most good. But this is not my home. When you get back to your home, who supports you? The common people. House Targaryen is gone. Not a single person who shares your blood is alive to support you. The Starks are gone as well. Our two terrible fathers saw to that. The remaining members of House Lannister will never back you, not ever. Stannis Baratheon won't back you either. That leaves the Tyrells. Not impossible, not enough. Lannister, Targaryen, Baratheon, Stark, Tyrell. They're all just spokes on a wheel. This one's on top, then that one's on top, and on and on it spins, crushing those on the ground. It's a beautiful dream. Yeah. Stopping the wheel. I'm not going to stop the wheel. I am the damn wheel. I'm going to break the wheel. Oh, even more vicious. You said whoever wins will fight to the great pit in front of the queen. I won. You struck me. Have me flogged. It makes you happy. <laughs> I'm the best you've got. If I win at the great pit, can you sell me for? We're three men. You could have gone anywhere. Why did you come back? Queen. Let me fight for her. And I belong to you. I mean... I don't think killing people Confess. in the arena oppresses her, Sir Jorah. Confess. Confess, I can make you a wealthy woman, a lady of the court. Confess, or I can make sure you die in the most hideous way imaginable. Dang. And all I do is sit Dang here break her yet. imagining hideous ways for you to die. You know what? It's funny because at this point, I hope they don't break her. Again, I hate Cersei. Don't get me wrong. But I hope she stay exactly like this till the end. Damn, I forgot Sam got his ass whooped uh, last episode. Does it hurt? But then, uh... No. She made up for it. Good. How are you? I'm not the one who got punched and kicked in the face. Yeah. You know what I mean. Who's there? Ollie. Oh. Come in. I heard what happened. Um, not to worry. Men brawl from time to time. It's only natural. Wanted to ask you something, if you got the time. It's about the Lord Commander. Yes? He's going up to Hardhome to save all them wildlings. Wildlings killed my mum and dad. They killed everyone in my village. We've been fighting them for years. This wasn't a fight. We were farmers. And they slaughtered us. The one he's traveling with. The one with the red beard. He led the raid on my village. Oh, Ollie. How can he trust him? I've seen the army of the dead. I've seen the White Walkers. And they come in for us. For yeah. all the living. 
We'll need every last man we can find. John's taking a risk, but he has to. We don't stand a chance otherwise. Sometimes, a man has to make hard choices. Choices that might look wrong to others, but you know are right in the long run. You believe that? With all my heart. Ah, oh, shit. To worry, Ollie. I've been worrying about John for years. He always comes back. I think Sam just planted the wrong seed in Ollie's head. Tell me that kid's not gonna do something stupid. You trust me, John Snow? Does that make me a fool? We're fools together now. Load of bones. Been a long time. Last time I saw you, the little crow was your prisoner. The other way around now. What happened? War. We should gather the elders. Find somewhere quiet to talk. You don't give the orders here. I'm not giving an order. Why aren't you in chains? He's not my prisoner. No? What is he? We're allies. You fucking traitor. Yeah. You fight for the crows now? I don't fight for the crows. We're here to talk. Is that right? You and the pretty crow do a lot of talking, Thorland. And when you're done talking, do you get down on your knees and suck his cock? Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. Yep, there goes your leader. Well deserved. Gather the elders and let's talk. <laughs> That's how you do it, though, man. Hey, listen, I ain't got time for all that talking. Mid-sentence, I'm running in your mouth. My name's Jon Snow. I'm Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. This is about survival. This is about putting a 700-foot wall between you and what's out there. You built that wall to keep us out. Since when do the claws give two shits if we live? In normal times, we wouldn't. But these yeah. aren't normal times. The White Walkers don't care if a man's free folk or crow were all the same to them, meat for their army. But together, we can beat them. Beat the White Walkers. Good luck with that. There are good lands south of the wall. The Night's Watch will let you through the tunnel and allow your people to farm those lands. If you swear you'll join us, when the real war begins. Where is Mons? No, oh, you ain't heard? He died. Oh. I put an arrow through his heart. Hey, hey. Why he say it like that? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, none of you saw Mans die. I did. The southern king who broke our army, Stannis, wanted to burn him alive to send us a message. Jon Snow defied that Khan's orders. His arrow was mercy. Thank you, Torment. Courage. Snow all dumb. Today, the courage to make peace. I lost my father, my uncle, and two brothers fighting the damn crows. I'm not asking you to forget your dead. I'll never forget mine. I lost 50 brothers the night that Mance attacked the wall. Don't forget your woman. Think about your children now. They'll never have children of their own if we don't band together. No clan can stop them. 
The Free Folk can't stop them. The Night's Watch can't stop them. And all the Southern Kings can't stop them. Only together. All of us. And even then, it may not be enough, but at least we'll give the fuckers a fight. You vouch for this man, Torment. This preacher and both my daughters. But he knows how to fight. He's young, but he knows how to lead. He didn't have to come to Hard Home. He came because he needs us. And we need him. I'll never trust a man in black. But I trust you, Torment. If you say this is the way, we're with you. This is the way. I'm with Torment. We stay here. We're dead men. At least with King Crow. Damn, who that? Torment skinnier uncle? Keep that new life you want to give us. And keep your gloves, King Crow. As soon as you get on his ships, they're gonna slit your throats and dump your bodies to the bottom of the shivering sea. That's our enemy. Now, yeah, I guess some people are just stupid. Can't reason with them. I fucking hate Thens. <laughs> Get yourselves ready. Yeah. Oh. Gunner is gonna look after you. She's in charge. You listen to her. <laughs> I want to go with you. I need to get the old folks on the boats. I'm right behind you, I promise. They're focusing on her and her kids an awful lot. Don't give it all. <laughs> you, motherfucker. <laughs> the hell's going on here? Bro, you better get your eye. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, shit. How are they not already swimming to those damn ships? Oh, my bad. There they go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, get your ass on one of these damn boats, man.
Damn. Out of nowhere, it's a whole white walker war. This shit just snuck right up on me. Damn, I'm starting to think that shit too. Snow ain't gonna make it out of this. Ah, shit. Shit look crazy. Damn, the four horsemen? Oh no, no, it's more up there. Come on, man. I need to help the giant out so he could, uh, do shit like that. Dang. <laughs> Man, who is this just walking up in? Oh. Snow just punch a white walker in the face. <laughs> Damn. That Valerian field. Okay, so Dragon Glass ain't the only thing that's lethal. Who that the king? White Walker King. I'm saying they doing all this stabbing and cutting and stuff, but it ain't killing them, so what's the point? Ah, damn. That's crazy. Damn. Oh, 
That shit look like World War Z. Get your asses moving! <laughs> what you thought was gonna happen? Let's go, Torment. Shit. I feel bad for him. Come on, Snow, let's go, man. Dang. That look crazy. Damn, man. So listen, I've said it before, but damn, the White Walker army is serious. I mean, they are organized and they like, they're not just zombies running around the place. They're like, they know what they're doing. All right. So I'm going to need a little history on the White Walkers immediately. Like I'm wondering, are some of the White Walkers going to be people that have, you know, that lived within the show? You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, let's say one of the great warriors from the past that got killed you know, then Risen came back to life as a White Walker, but still has all the military skills that he did when he was alive. Is that how it was going to be? Like, the King of the White Walkers, who is that? Like, who was that when he was alive? That is what is going to become interesting. I can't wait for that stuff to start to come out. This was episode eight, so y'all all know what happens next. Should I just jump into it right now? I think I should just jump into it right now. Anyways, come back and check me out for episode nine. Peace.